Hello everybody. I'm currently at the um, Cocoa Beach Sam's Club doing the knife gig and just thought I would share with you um, the situation. If you know this area and have been following the story then you know this is Brevard County where I'm actually from and it's where the story started eight years ago with the situation with um, my wife and the corpse and all the crazy stuff. Um, I didn't think it would affect me as much as it has or did and does. Um, coming back here to this area and trying to do the show in the store has actually been very hard for me. It didn't hit me till I was actually doing the show and found myself just sweating profusely. And um, it wasn't because I didn't know the script or anything, but because I'm actually at ground zero. This is where everything went down eight years ago to change my life. And I guess a part of me feels like maybe these people remember me. It was kind of infamous in this area. They had me plastered all over the news and everything. And um, I was basically crucified. You know, before everybody here. And um, so, trying to do the show has been um, really hard. I've gone through, I think, three or four shows thinking that each show I would get better on the next show, but no, I continue to be like dripping wet, sweating profusely. And I think there's just a fear in me that uh, somebody in the audience might recognize me and say, hey, he was that guy that was all over the TV. It's been eight years and I thought I had moved on, but um, being here at this particular store in this county where everything happened is proving to be especially hard. I'm gonna um, pray for strength and uh, continue to press forward. I really didn't think it would be that hard, but it has been. Just getting up there and um, even though the Sam's Club all looks pretty much the same, they're very similar. But just me, I guess, psychologically knowing that this is ground zero is affecting me in a bad way. So, um, those of you who are new might not know what I'm talking about. Um, if you watch the vlogs from the very beginning, you can get a background as to how we ended up from me being um, one of the best teachers in the county to uh, becoming a homeless vet you know, living out of a van to the point where we're at right now. So, um, if you're new, you might want to watch the vlogs from episode one, and that'll fill you in on the background and maybe help to explain to you why I'm struggling right now as I'm back in the same county, because I was featured all over the newspapers, all over the news, um, and my whole life changed.